everything on this desk I think is is operating at full capacity. I don't think I need to tweak anything. I think I could actually press a button and everything will play perfectly. Is Ross Brown operating at full capacity though? Always. That is I have no buttons. The question. What do you think? You wouldn't put a tenor on it? I, I have confidence in you. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, you ready? Oh, bitches! <laughs> oh, I wasn't sure if that was going to happen or not. Hey, everybody, what's the crack? You are listening to Unforeseen. I'm Ross Brown. Right over there is Lorraine Murphy. This is the podcast that is truly... You want to pull down the fader there, Ross, so we can actually hear you. Unforeseen. <laughs> was it that loud, was it? Was it that loud, was it? That's better now. Are you sure? You can be heard now. Are you sure? Was it was it that fucking loud, was it? <laughs> you got overconfident in yourself. I mean, just sometimes you just gotta go for it again. Hey, everybody, <laughs> what's the crack? You are listening to Unforeseen, the podcast that is truly unforeseen. I'm your what host. You I'm your host, Ross <laughs> Brown. And over there is an awful fucking moany hole, Lorraine Murphy. My producer extraordinaire and unofficial official co-host as well. What's the crack? This is the first one we've done when since COVID restrictions have lifted. Oh, so, is it? Yeah. Oh. Have you have you gone mad altogether now? Oh, I was setting, staying out till half I eight. I was setting fire to nuns' feet. <laughs> <laughs> feet. They, they were showing me how their feet of strength, and I was setting fire to them. Oh, really? uh, I've yeah. Oh fucking hell! Have I what? I've went bowling with my dad a couple of times. Woo! So this is something you haven't spoken about on the podcast. Mm-hmm. Bowling. Yeah, 10, so pin, we know you're ten into... pin bowling, not lawn bowling. I'm not a fucking geriatric. <laughs> ten pin bowling. So this is something you've done for, for quite some time, but you haven't told us about it on the podcast. Well, I haven't done it in 19 years. But you did it for... I did it for ages. I did it from like the age of six up until the age of 60, 17. And then I stopped. And then myself, myself and my dad used to bowl in leagues and tournaments and the whole shebang. We used to have our own balls. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes sometimes I mean we, we did you know what I mean and we had ball bags as well um, it's a dad. very sexual sport isn't no, it no it's not no listen it's, it, it's very it's a very innocent and very pure game sometimes my dad would ask me to carry in his ball bag and other times then I'd actually carry my ball bag and my dad's ball bag at the same time but don't you have to get like your fingers measured and stuff for the holes in the balls I couldn't finger my dad's balls <laughs> But he he would often have a go at mine. Um, he said his but well, his balls were heavier than mine. But then I worked my way up to having heavier balls. So by the time we stopped bowling, our balls were almost indistinguishable from each other. So what do your balls weigh? His were purple. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my uh, my dad's ball was uh, sixteen pound, which is the heaviest a bowling ball can be. And mine was 14, 15 and 14. 15 for my strike ball and 14 for my spare ball. Okay. You, you didn't even know there was a strike ball and a I spare ball, did I you? I had no idea. Yeah, you have one ball for throwing your strike shot, which is your first shot, which is when you're trying to get a strike. That's got a hook in it. So you've got fingertips. Your fingers only go in that much. Just that much. Just no, the tip. In a house ball, they go in all the way to that knuckle. But I only needed to put my fingers in that much to get the result that I needed. Okay, so right, say now if I'm going bowling with my friends and you shouldn't go bowling with friends because they would, because you need enemies. You need see I you're you're going at it the wrong way now. You're being all social. You're probably okay. going to have a drink and everything. No, I'm going bowling with my enemies. You, you, so, but perfect. I'm I'm going to Bloodthirst. I'm going to Leisureplex. So of course you wouldn't go anywhere else. The no. best bowling alley in Ireland. So. Right, give me the, give me the tips then. What do I need to? What what kind of a ball do I need to go for? Uh, whatever weight you're comfortable with. Okay. But on the heavier end of what you're comfortable with, not okay. something that's a complete like fucking bouncing around on the lane. Not a six pound. You you probably go for an eight or nine pound. Nine pound. Okay. Nine pound ball. Uh, what fingers would you put into the holes? Show, um, me, show the camera your fingers. Which I fingers? Probably... <gasps> oh. Oh. I don't know. Rookie, I don't know. It's been a long mistake. time. Yeah, so you would. You would have done that. That's what everyone does. So what are you meant to do? It's actually meant to be these three. Okay, you're just showing all five fingers there now, Ross. So. so these three go in the ball and these two. So it's the middle of your okay, hand. Okay, you so see. for people listening, you're you're basically doing the rock sign. Yeah, so I'm basically doing like the yeah the rock and roll devil horn thing. So yeah. your your pointer finger and your baby finger are, 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 are the ones that are outside. The two in the middle go into the two holes and then your thumb goes into the thumb hole. That's the middle of your hand, you see. And you're able to guide it with these two fingers. So there you go. Uh, do you know the dots on the lane? On the approach? 
And then you see the little tin wooden boards as well. They're only yeah. about an inch thick. Yeah. Yeah, we count those boards. So we have a, a, a particular stance and a position on the lane that we throw from. Then when there's the arrows halfway down the lane, we aim, they, that's what we aim for is like one board to the left of the right arrow, of the third arrow. And then according to like your spare shot. So for example, if you knocked everything except for two pins to the right of the head pin, then you move six boards to your left in order to move six pins. Oh my to, God, this is a yeah. whole new world. Yeah, it's the best. You have a chamois as well to get the oil off your balls. Um, you have a dust pouch as well so that you get a Wait good... Wait what's a chamois? A chamois, a like a cloth. Okay. Yeah, but like, yeah. And, a, and then you can get, you get a dust a dust ball then which is like kind of a... Do you know like weightlifters use chalk? Oh yeah. A little, little bit of dust just to take the sweat out of your hole. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it, you, the finger will slip out too easy if the hole is uh, wet or lubricated. So you need a dry hole. <laughs> and... That's the best way to get the... <laughs> you need the balls to work for you. You do? You do. You need you a do. lot of rotation on the balls. Right. Yeah. And you need to work the ball. It is the best fucking sport on the planet. You said this about wrestling. Bar wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> do you wear uniforms when you're we playing? We wear shoes. Oh, the shoes are horrible oh, though, wait, aren't you, they? My shoes are lime neon green. They're grey. And black with, le- with with lime neon green trim, which I only ordered yesterday. Uh, you normally wear a pair a pair of tracksuit pants, a pair of shorts, or a pair of slacks, a pair of Farrah slacks, and uh, you would uh, often wear a silk shirt of some sort. A, a sil- silk like a, shirt. Like when I say a silk shirt, like a darts player <laughs> shirt. You know those kind of shirts, oh, like okay. with, with, with your name on the back. It says okay. Something like hot stuff, McGinty or whatever. Oh, do you know what I mean? Mine, do, do you have a name on your team? Like, do you call? Are you called something? I I suggested because we're starting a league uh, Tuesday. We're starting our league. We're going back into a league again. So I'm fucking delighted. The two of us are really excited. My dad's like a child and um, a really old grey child. And, uh, <laughs> and I said to him, will we call each other the Dirty Knobbers? And he was like... <laughs> oh my God. I was like, come on, let's call each other the Dirty Knobbers. And he was like, no. And everyone behind the till was like, behind the desk was like, go on, you can call yourself whatever you want. And I was like, oh, now you're leaving yourselves wide open now. <laughs> So is it just the two of you on the team? Like, what's what? It's going to be two people on the team, but you can always have a sub or whatever on in this particular league. But we're just going to it'll, we'll always be there. Okay, so from next week, can we get weekly updates on how the oh, league listen, is going? Oh, listen, we're going to fucking destroy the league. We are going to destroy my dad. <laughs> what, what my my dad league? hasn't broken a hundred. The ugly knobbers, is it? The dirty knobbers. <laughs> like, excuse your fucking cheek. Call me an ugly knobber. If I'm a knobber, at least fucking like. Don't be making comments about my looks as well. I'm a dirty sorry, knobber. Sorry, my I'm apologies. not a dirty knobber. I'm a dirty knobber. <laughs> Two balls brown. <laughs> okay, I'm looking forward to the weekly updates then. Yeah. They're the dirty and, knobbers. I, and bowling as well is just, I mean, like three holes. You know what I mean? It's all, it, it correlates all oh back. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I've got a dick I'm... like a bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> Oh, it's got three holes and you need to shammy the oil off every once in a while. Oh my God. <laughs> but you know what? Let's get stuck into this, right? Because oh, uh, you have a headache already. I have a headache <laughs> last night. This is actually a video that was suggested by one of our listeners. Thank you to Andrew Newman in Mayo, who's a big fan Fair of play, the podcast. No sponsor. <laughs> um, this is a man called Sean Murray. Sean Murray, okay. Sean Murray's from Skibbereen. And he broke the record. We we tend to have record breakers a lot on the podcast. They we get do. suggested a lot. Uh, he broke the record a couple of years it's ago. It's Cabrini and Cork. Kerry. Kerry? Oh, it's not Kerry or Cork, is it? Is it Kerry? Cork? Waterford. It's it, it's the south of Ireland, I know that. Skibbereen. It is. Is it West Cork or Kerry? Let's just backtrack there. What? Where is Skibbereen for for people who are listening from other countries? <laughs> <laughs> for Nate and all those other Australians and Americans that are listening, where where would you tell them where Skibbereen is, Lorraine? <laughs> is that is that that bad of a question? That is. <laughs> where is the single thickest thing I've ever heard you say? Where, where is, is Skibbereen? Are you for real? Am I not even close to Cork or Kerry? It's West Cork. Oh, it is Cork. What, yeah. What the fuck are you making what? me look like what an idiot for? It's what Cork, everybody. It's Cork. <laughs> He's from the Cork, everybody. The first place I said. 
This oh is Sean Murray. He's from Skibbereen oh in beautiful West Cork. And he yeah. broke the record a number of years ago for opening the most amount of bras in a minute. Go fuck off. Are you serious? <laughs> what? Are you serious? Are they on people or are they on mannequins They're or something? on people. Are you having a laugh? <laughs> are you having a laugh? Five minutes after I call myself Dirty Knobber, we're opening <laughs> with a bra opening champion. This is fucking brilliant. Oh my God. A cork person holds the world record for bras opening. Look at him. This guy looks like an absolute pro. So, okay, so they've all, they all have t-shirts and the t-shirts are cut with a hole at the back <laughs> yeah. to give him easy access. Yes. And he's, is he only allowed to do one hand? One hand. He looks like he's got one hand behind his back. And he's a, he, he's a lefty as well, I think. He is. He's a lefty. And also, it looks like there's a... Why does it look like that there's a team of brow openers that all have like a uniform? They're more coordinated than a bowling team. Like there's one <laughs> fellow with a hat behind him who's kind of going, great form there, Sean. <laughs> great form. Uh, 91 brass. Okay, here we go. You ready, Sean? You can take it now. Yep. Last attempt. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Ah, fuck off. Fuck off. How? How? What do you mean how? He doesn't even look like he's like fiddling. Mm. Like he's just like, it looks like he's literally just hooking it. Sean is a pro, man. Hooking it. Oh, I know what he's doing. I know I know what the technique is. What? He is pinching the two sides of the bra together. Do you know the little hooks? Yeah. He's pinching the two sides together with this knuckle and this. It's very much like a bowling uh, technique. <laughs> And he's pinching the two sides together so he creates the slack and then he's flipping it open. Oh, is he? So he's creating, a, he's bunching the two sides together so that they kind of go like that and then he's just releasing them. With the I think perfect, depend- it's a three finger technique. Depending on the bra, I think the squeeze would be enough to unclasp. It, it would, but, but I, but I think bra. for speed, he's using the third finger to just be like, and that's definite, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, I know. Sean makes sure when he's, he's not, opening a bra. Listen, the last thing you want to do is have to go back to the right and, and, and redo a bra. <laughs> It'll knock his whole rhythm off. It's like yeah. the cube. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You mm. don't want to, once you lose your rhythm, so and you see he's got a very methodical rhythm. He's not rushing. He's just, da, 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 da. It's very, like, I'm. 10 seconds. One. One of them is a fella. <gasps> and <laughs> did you see this? One of them is a topless fella. <laughs> we were like, where is Eileen gone? Like, Eileen! Sean, we're only going to be able to do 90 bras. But the, but the record is 90. I can't tie the record. I have to get 91. Dermot, would you step in there for Eileen? <laughs> do, do I even get the t-shirt? We've noticed Eileen has the t-shirt. <laughs> You're going to have to stand there topless. Oh my God. But it's it's oh. very it's very emasculating. Well, that's <laughs> welcome to the world of being a woman. <laughs> it's just, that's amazing. But not even a flinch. Like if I stopped him, I'd have been like, if I was Sean, I'd have been like, this is after throwing me off a little bit here. Now I I, I feel it. <laughs> come back, come back, come back, go back up. Over the other side, Mary. Twenty seconds. Jesus Christ! Look at him go. It's the it's this the tense silence is but, what kills me. And this, this is in a clothes shop as well. <laughs> yeah. So somebody went, lads, we're going to have to we're going to have to like close after we're going to have to close for business. Like I mean, some things are more important. By I the think way, it's his own business actually. I think he owns that clothes shop. Oh, is it? A lot of women are, have a lot, have some women decided to go topless as well without it, a t-shirt. It does look that or way. Or is that a couple of more fellas? Hang on. <laughs> no, that's another fella. Oh, another. There's loads of fellas. <laughs> How, what does Skibbereen have no women? <laughs> does it have no? There's one, two, three, maybe four, no women that want their bra opened on camera. Yeah, but they're all got their backs turned. Like they're like the, they're like the bodyguard fellas in Squid Game. Do you know what I mean? Mm. No one actually knows who they are. One fellow was helping him. He had the back arch, so he already oh, created yeah. the gap. So yeah, bang, yeah. he was he was helping him there a little bit. Thirty seconds. Oh, they all have to retie in their bras as well. Yeah. So he has to go back mm-hmm. around again. Look at the concentration on his face. He, he had a little slip there with one. He had to redo it a second time. And he furrowed his brow mm. as if to say, that's the fucking record gone. <laughs> Fuck anyway. Very tense. No one talking. No. Nope. 
Why does he sound like he was lifting a car off a child? <laughs> well, can I go back a bit? Yes. Mm. Here, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the prayer was made of granite and he was like... Mm. <laughs> I love that. I love that. A little bit of just fucking... 50 seconds. Jesus Nine, Christ. Eight, oh. Seven, oh. Six, oh. Five, oh. Four, Fuck. Three, Come on. Two. You... One. Yes. Oh. Go on, Sean. <laughs> Fucking hell. Go on, Sean. There are fellas there that look so fucking happy to be wearing a bra. <laughs> But I, I'm Some sure. of them look so happy that they look like they came up with this record and trained Sean just so that they could justify wearing a bra in public. <laughs> sure, look, I'll step in and wear the bra. But Eileen's back. Fuck off. Eileen, would you fuck off? <laughs> yeah, all the, all the bras still have price tags on them as well. 91 bras. That is very impressive. In 60 seconds. That is really impressive. Yeah. It has no function in the real world. No, absolutely not. Like the most bras I've ever opened in a day is a bra. <laughs> Did you ever wear a bra? No. Uh, what am I talking about? What? I would have... Did I, I? Oh. You've definitely tried I on a bra. I did wear yeah, a bra. I knew well you would have. I did wear a bra because uh, for my dad's 50th, me and my uncle and my brother-in-law, Chris, uh, dressed up as the Spice Girls and did a striptease or something. Not striptease. No, we did like a lap dance or something. <laughs> for your dad's birthday? <laughs> Listen. I carried his you ball bag for years. You gave your dad years. a lap dance. <laughs> it, wasn't a lap dance. <laughs> it wasn't a sexual one. Not, not to start. <laughs> it wasn't a lap dance. It was more like a, it was more of a kind of a, what would you call it? A physical serenading. <laughs> Did your dad enjoy it? He was, he was up for the, up for the, yay. <laughs> There's, I was, um, Ginger. Why did you immediately go to ginger? <laughs> was I right? Would you not have said sporty? Was I right? Would you not have said sporty, sporty. or posh? <laughs> but you went straight for ginger. Was I right? I will plead. For the fifth. <laughs> I'm going to do what Clinton should have done, and I'm pleading the fifth. Um, I let's just say I had a Union Jack dress yes, on. So you were ginger. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I actually didn't. I think I was scary. I think I was scary. And there was no black face, by the way. It was just the leopard wig print. the wig and dress. Leopard just, print. Just the wig and the leopard print dress. Yeah. I think my brother in law yeah, my brother in law Chris was ginger. And oh, it, was there just three of you? There was just three of us. <laughs> yeah. So we couldn't find a posh. Uh what was he? He was uh, a sporty. Oh no, he was posh. He was posh. We didn't have sporty or um or Maybe. Emma Bunton. Yeah. We didn't okay. have them. No, we didn't have, no, no. He only needed three of us. <laughs> so, we were... Three family members sp- we were dressed sp- up as just three of the Spice Girls. <laughs> Couldn't even commit to the full band. By the way, this is the first time I've remembered this since it happened. It is like, this is like this a is Vietnam a flashback. <laughs> it's, it's a suppressed moment. Yeah. I was going to say, is there a video of this? But I don't know. Do we want to see there, it? There, it was probably some sort of VHS, probably. <laughs> right, someone's got a camcorder. It was, and I'll tell you what, right? My brother-in-law is is a quite a, quite a, um, what would you say? A, he is quite the hefty lad. He's he's quite big. He's quite large. Okay. Um, And my other, my uncle has legs like fucking pipe cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> he looks... Very skinny. This is what every man wants when he turns 50. Very skinny. And I, at the time as well, was only 16. And oh, this I, was your gangly phase. Oh, my, my gangly phase. This was before I grew into my head. This was <laughs> oh my like, God. yeah, I was like, I was scary without even trying to be scary. Like, <laughs> And uh, yeah, it was, it was, a, I'd say it was a sight and a half. Um, there was, I yeah. still don't understand the reason. Like, did your dad like I, the Spice Do you know girls? what? No, I... <laughs> I don't like, think Who said Do you know what your dad would love now Do you know right? what I think somebody pitched it to us And we didn't actually have the foresight To question it Like we kind of just went Yeah I don't even think I, I don't even remember the negotiation process Where someone said Do you know what you should do 
I think we just had three outfits. <laughs> and what better occasion? And we went, should you know, to be remiss not to. But he was definitely put on a chair in the middle of the room. I remember that. Oh my God. And we entered from the men's bathroom with in, in, in complete drag. And uh, If You Want to Be My Lover was playing. And I do remember the three of us dancing around him. <laughs> it's like you don't like your dad. <laughs> like, why would you put him through that? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I, oh, I'm i having complete flashbacks now to that. I didn't even think of that night. This was a, a very eventful night. It was a very eventful night. <laughs> So that's Sean. Sean. Fair play to Sean. But I wonder about these situations. Like, who comes up with the idea? Did someone look at Sean one day and go, geez, you're fairly quick there with that? Who was looking at Sean on yeah. doing a brand the first place yeah, exactly. is what I want to know. Or did did his wife or, or, or someone or his partner turn around and go, Come here, him. <laughs> Open any old bra. Anything at all. Even if it's even if it's tight at the front, he'll book up at the back. Yeah. Uh, one thing I do want to know about Sean and if anybody listening from Skibbereen in West Cork, Ross. This is Cork. In, in it's in West Cork. Cork. It, this is in Ireland as well. Munster, I um, believe, is the province. This is going back. So this this record was broken back in 2015. And when he broke this record, yeah. he did have plans to work on another stunt. Ooh. Oh, he he's, said, a bit, he's a bit of a renaissance man. He said it would involve undergarments and it would involve two hands. So I don't know the follow up. Did this happen? Can somebody confirm? Atomic wedgies. I'd love to know what he did. Undergarments involving two hands. Undergarments. I just replayed what you just said there. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't give someone a good wedgie with one hand. you got to get either side of that fucking centrepiece. So if anybody knows... Um, that's, that's fascinating though, yeah. What garments? Maybe it's fastening, Braz. Uh, that's shit crack though, isn't it? I know, yeah. It's <laughs> like, like off, off your pop. <laughs> a load of women have to stand around with their boobs kind of like... Let's be honest. There's going to be more men than women. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel a little bit, I feel a little bit slutty there, Sean. <laughs> Would you ever do me up? <laughs> do me up like a kipper. Let me tell you about one of my favourite places in the world. I've played comedy clubs and theatres and pubs and live music venues all over the world. Uh, America, UK, Spain, Germany, Ireland, the whole shebang. One of my favourite places of all time is Sea Church in Ballycotton. Uh, sea Church is East Cork's newest restaurant and live music venue. It is a modern and beautiful building. Uh, integrated perfectly with one of the most iconic live venues in a beautiful church. Uh, and it's just, it, being in there, you're going, oh, this is a very special space. It's it's class and it's it gives so much gravitas and so much mood and atmosphere to every gig. Uh, playing host to some of the best music artists. Christmas parties, mulled wine receptions, overlooking the ocean, tableside entertainment and DJ. It's also the ultimate venue for other parties as well, for unforgettable weddings, birthdays, anything you want to put on there. It's absolutely great. Staff are absolute legends inside there. Everybody just kind of looks like they, they kind of want to be there and that no one's paying them, which is kind of what you want. Uh, and uh, fabulous seafood, uh, burgers, wings, pizzas galore, washed down with Ireland's greatest musicians, comedians, not like myself, and playwrights as well. Find them on social media at Sea Church Bally Cotton, uh, or you can find them uh, for more information on booking. Visit seachurch.ie um, and you can get all your stuff there. Uh, that's Sea Church. You are an early riser, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> you get up quite early in the morning. Oh yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. What is um? Thing. What's your morning routine like? I wake up, right? My alarm goes off, mm. right? If it goes off like three minutes before I have to get up, I actually try and get back to sleep in that oh, three minutes. Oh yeah, you got to. Oh, you. fucking chalk it no, down. No, you're a weirdo if you get up Sh- before oh, yeah. the oh, alarm. Yeah. Off, chalk stop. it down. So uh, my alarm goes off and I go... And I hit it off straight away. Yeah. And I sit up straight away and I put my feet outside the bed straight away or whatever I'm sleeping on, right? <laughs> Fridge, whatever, right? Put my feet out and I'm up. Stand up, boom, straight away. Okay. Stand up even though I'm sitting back down, right? And then I put on my sock. Okay, uh, <laughs> stand up even though you're sitting back down. Yeah, I stand up so I'm like, I'm up now. Okay. It's a mental thing. <laughs> so then I sit back down and I put on my sock and... <laughs> Just one. <laughs> huh? You only wear one sock. Oh yeah! Oh, I forgot. Hello. How do we? How do we navigate this? We don't. 
I just put on. You one. only wear one sock. I, yeah, because the other one is covered all night in case something happens to it. Oh, it's already wearing a sock. Oh, this thing oh. is never un fucking covered. This oh. thing is like, this thing is like fucking Michael Jackson's real nose. Like no one's seen the fucking thing. Like, <laughs> so I choose the socks I'm wearing the next day, and I do the changeover then the night before. So the fresh sock for tomorrow is on just as I'm going to sleep. Like, oh my god! <laughs> I go into the bathroom. Mm-hmm. I brush my teeth. Yeah. I throw on my face. Wash my hands. Yeah. And then I, I do a wee and then I go straight. <laughs> and I go straight out the door. I okay. walked, walk down the stairs, keys in the door, take it out, walk to the other side of the door, lock it, into the car, gone. Like four, three minutes, four minutes from the time I get up to the time I'm out the door, in the car yeah. driving. Yeah. Like super fast. I have it down to like a T. And then I drive in here and then I sit down in my car and I lie back and then Casey pulls up and then he looks in my window like, what the fuck is he doing? So you take a little nap? I don't take a nap. I just have like a little meditate myself. Oh. Yeah, I just just lie there with the radio on number one. Yeah. Yeah, just so I can hear it. So I can hear when the news starts. Yeah. And I just recline the thing back, leave the engine on and then just sit there and let the the warm air. And then I just sit there, my eyes closed and then I just wait for it. And then I just sit up and it gets me in just a nice little nice little frame of mind. Okay. It's like it's like I get my lie in, I get my snooze button after my drive. Okay. That's the way I look at it. Okay. Yeah. That's a, a very specific Yeah. Yeah. On like, the spectrum kind of like little routine. bit like little, yeah, little bit, yeah. Little bit, it's been but, said it's been said. But, my nickname is Broken Brain. Thank you very much. <laughs> um Men's morning routines are having a moment on YouTube right now. What do you mean? Like self-care and all this kind of bollocks? Yeah. yeah. So this is one of the most famous ones on YouTube. I want you to have a, a, a little watch of this. This is a YouTuber called Dex Drexler. And just see Dex how... Dex Drexler. Yeah, just see how and your morning routine and his morning routine and might when is, vary a little when bit. And when is he fighting Superman in the next <laughs> comic book? Dex Drexler. <laughs> Fucking hell. Mm. All right. My epic morning routine, 2019. Yeah. Mel's health, men's healthy lifestyle tips. This last year, I decided to make some huge shifts in my life. I made the choice that mediocrity would no longer have a hold on me. Instead, my life would be consumed by hard work, self-discipline, and passion. Wow. Rise and grind. What? A <laughs> langer. <laughs> Great words. I love that sound. Every day I wake up. Oh, he's one of these fucking. No, I prescribe to this as well. Monday is my favorite day. January is my favorite month. Always. I'm I've... all. I'm all about the start of everything. Okay. When people are like, "Oh, Mondays," I'm like, "Fucking Monday! Attack the week! Come on, fucking!" Ugh. Uh, same thing for everything. First gig of the year, first day, first of January. I'm like, fucking, I'm gonna fucking smash this. Like, every single that is my thing. I'm not mad into finishing things. I love starting things. Okay, okay, yeah. right, so. yeah, I'm mad for starting things. Like bowling might end in a week. <laughs> what do you think about what he said there? He loves the sound of his alarm. Uh, it's the same mentality. It's the, it's the, it's it's his, it's his. Oh, it's the start of his day. So it's like it's like the bell going. You're fucking. You're alive. Come on, let's get up and fucking hustle and gra- rise and grab, motherfucker. What's your What's your alarm like? Is it that like eh, 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 kind of one, or is it more at the moment? Because like... I got a new. I, I don't know if I mentioned this to you, but I've got an iPhone 13 Pro Max. Did you? Uh, yeah. Oh I d- my god. Yeah, it's the biggest. Thought you kept that it's, to yourself, it's, yeah, didn't the, you? It's the best one. Um, I have mentioned it, but anyway, no. but uh, the alarm. I downloaded an alarm app, and it's it's got that old school digital red number alarm clock there. That one. That's gonna wake me up with anxiety. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I no. need, I need that gentle, like you know, kind of starts the off polyphonic. It kind starts of style, off like... with the vibration, <laughs> and then it gently gets louder and louder and louder and louder. You know yeah. that one. That that's better. No, for me. no, no, no. no. I can't God, I like a next to my beautiful wife is a blessing. Knowing that today is a brand new day and it's full of opportunity and wonder, yeah. it always stirs up my passion for impacting the world in some kind of new way. Oh yeah, come on. Every day I like to kick off my morning with some positive music. Something that will get me in the right frame of mind for the rest of the day. I mean, he put on his hat before he put <laughs> anything else on. <laughs> yeah. So he's not really like, oh, how is he going to get his t-shirt on? He's going to have to work the t-shirt. And by the way, the hat, the hat is backwards as well. He's going to have to actually work the t-shirt around the back of the... So he's going yeah, to but up, you could do that. That's, yep, yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, but you, you do that 10 times, you're going to end up with a stretchy neck. 
on Better your t-shirt. Than a stretchy face. Yeah. I, <laughs> Uh, anti plaque and whitening toothpaste. Okay, product placement probably. There's a lot of product placement. Is there a lot? Yeah. Straight into brushing my teeth, getting rid of that morning breath. Then, huh. of course, <laughs> hit the shower to wake me up. You he was very, he was very adamant on getting his dick. <laughs> you know what dick root is? Dick root. Yeah, he got his dick root in that shot there. He was adamant that he was getting it. What's that? Do you not know what dick root is? Is that like the little? Oh it's, no, it's, what's it called? Yeah, that? The the, no, no. You're thinking Go of on. the you're thinking of the treasure trail. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not that. Oh, is this the like the kind of like? It's the, like when your ab, it's when like when your ab, yeah, when your when your lower abs to groin is so muscular that it almost looks like a root to the tree that is your dick. Yeah, the dick root is called. But I mean, if you've got it, if you've got it, fucking, fucking put fucking. it on a YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got it, fucking send me some. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you sounded so thirsty there. I was like, <laughs> fucking hell. I'm in. Mean, I mean, if you, I mean, to be honest with you, I think we found our dirty knobber. I mean, if you've got it, fucking. <laughs> that fucking was guttural. If you've got it, fucking. Just, um, am I wrong, though? You're not wrong. But your level of enthusiasm and aggression was... It was a course. little bit forceful. I, I, so, I, you looked like you were at a fucking. You looked like you were at a protest against the government. What? Our next speaker, Lorraine Murphy. She's, she's got something to say. I mean, if you've got it, fucking. Using my steam spray to fight back any morning congestion. What the fuck is a steam spray? It's um, up your nose. Is this an up your nose spray? No, no. I'd say it's something that you spray in the shower and it it um mist. Yeah, but it it it's incorporated in the steam of the shower and oh, then you okay. inhale it. Oh, okay, it's like a vapor rub in a spray kind of thing, yeah, almost I guess so, like. Yeah. Okay, yeah, all right, all right. I, I, I. Besides washing my face and going through the necessary steps of my skincare routine, I always find the shower as a quiet place where I can start my day right with meditation and prayer. He's lost me. <laughs> He's lost me. The prayer bit. Yeah. Yeah, Anam and Ahar, August and September. <laughs> Do I know this in Irish? In Anam and Ahar? Am I wrong? I'm Anam and Ahar? What was she saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, well, you're mad for telling me I'm wrong when I'm actually I right. I didn't tell about you things. you were wrong. Scooperoo in like, Cork. I was like, that's exactly what <laughs> I, I said. I didn't tell you you were wrong there either. Hang on a second. In Anam and Ahar? What's wrong with you? In Anna Manahar, August on Sprid. And Vic. What? And Vic. Vic? Yeah. Vic? Yeah. In Anna Manahar. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You say it. Don't say the full thing because I want to guess can I get it right, but just say the first bit. In Anna Manahar. In Anna Manahar. <laughs> You're making it all one word. I in haven't Anna got Man. time. I got a hustle and grind. In Anna Manahar, August on Vic. August on Vic. Yeah. August on Sprid, Neov, Amen. Yeah. Yes. There you go. Look at me. You can bless yourself. Fucking, I know Irish. Irish. That's the most Irish words I can say. In Anna Manahar, August. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Man. Wow. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, he's lost me anyway, straight away. Fucking meditation and prayer is a lot about. Now, I'm a big fan of staying healthy and keeping my body performing at the top of its game. So every morning, I'll have my daily dose of vitamins, and I'll make a couple of these health drinks for my wife and I that are full of antioxidants, fiber, and other healthy ingredients. This guy makes me sick. We'll have this along with an awesome breakfast that my wife always makes for us. Well, I don't me. trust people like this. Mm. What do you mean? He could be a lovely fella, but when someone tells me how great everything is mm. and how perfect they are, and how it, the wholesome thing that you're doing. When someone tells you they're wholesome and tries to tell you they're wholesome, I'm always suspicious. It's the Ned Flanders effect. Welcome to the world of social media influencing. I know. But like if someone was just like, listen, I had the worst shit ever this morning. <laughs> I'd be like, I can trust this guy with my yeah. car keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's the kind of honesty that I love. That's what you, you want someone to be like, listen, first things first, I fucking, I knocked out a fucking monstrous shit <laughs> and it was horrific 
to the point where I had to brush my teeth in my own shed. Like that's what you want, and you're kind of going, "I'm on with Dexter." When he's a, if he, if that's a Bible he's picking up, I'm fucking I'm exing out of this. I like to always start off my day by reading positive development books. I believe that having a high quality personality is even more important than having a high quality style. See, in school we were never taught how to have vision or be an entrepreneur, or how to brand our own name, or how to even be good husbands or family men. So reading, learning, and stretching ourselves every day is mandatory. Now, and you no, nah, he's not. This guy is not my cup of chat at all. So I know who will be. Hang on, so, okay, so, wait, no, so you're saying this guy, you knew this guy would piss me off. Yeah. Why did you show him to me? <laughs> because I he, just wanted he, to show you what other men are doing with their me. mornings. You you get your morning routine done in what sounds like four and a half minutes. Yeah, but he doesn't. He's, he's like six hours and it's still his morning routine. Yeah, his morning routine is his entire fucking day. He's sitting in a coffee shop pretending to work. I have to be <laughs> on the radio by the, before this fucker even fucking rolls over and has a second dream. <laughs> by the man. time this fucker washes his hair, I'm in bed for the next day already. Okay, well, I am going to show you the Jesus biggest Christ. inspiration. If he's for... anything like this fucker, I'm out immediately. And I actually have very little faith Ross, in you. Ross, Ross, stop. I know you're going to love this. I know you're going to love this. Is this like some kind of, is this some kind of trap now? It's obviously going Ross, to be some guy with... Fucking... You are about to be inspired, okay? Okay. By Jeremy Fragrance. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Fucking yes! Jeremy Fragrance, his morning routine. Is he in this video? He's, he's very much in this video. <laughs> Fuck you. What's his name? Dex Drexter. Dex Drexter. <laughs> he's wearing a white jacket already. <laughs> yes. Oh, for anyone that hasn't heard yet, go back to whatever episode we, we, we had Jeremy Fragrance on when he was showing us the best perfumes in, in sing- I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> oh my so, God. This is uh, Jeremy Fragrance. What he does every morning to prepare himself for the day. I don't even think I want to talk through this video. I just want to sit back and relax and enjoy Jeremy Fragrance. Okay. What is Jeremy Fragrance's mentality when he first gets up? Okay, guys. So... Morning routine. When I wake up, I start breathing. <laughs> Has he been holding his breath in his sleep all night? <laughs> I mean, every day is positive when you haven't been breathing all night. And then we just go. <gasps> <laughs> he does look like Tom Cruise so much. He's a handsome devil, isn't he? Does he sleep underwater? What the fuck? It's like, does he just emerge with the water? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's early. It's dark out and he's still... He doesn't get up in his dark out, does he? What, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Why are you already losing your mind? <laughs> Is this like a home invasion? <laughs> Is he being robbed? Because when I go out of the bed, I'm a warm hot dog and it's all cozy and warm and you need to expose yourself voluntarily to stress and get topless. And while I shave, I already (laughs) do this. How has he not slit his own throat? Is is he squatting? Squatting. (laughs) While he's shaving. (laughs) Oh my god, that is the most ridiculous combination <laughs> of things. Like, yeah, you know, listen, do your two chin ups when you have a wank. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong <laughs> How busy are you that you're going, I need to get my squats and my shaving in at the same time? <laughs> to start pumping myself with the dopamine, with the endorphins and stuff. (laughs) He's in a pair of Y fronts with a backpack doing squats while holding a piece of carrot. Oh, I don't think my head can take this. I don't think my head can take this. Why does he look like he's taking a bag full of yolks? All the time. He looks like what you'd expect to see 
as you're going back to your room at six o'clock in the morning after a night out in Ibiza, you're going, well, someone's still going. What the fuck? <laughs> in the time where I'll breathe, I prepare my morning tea. My morning tea consists of... In the time when I breathe, does he... Does he schedule breathing? And just be like, I'm right, that's that done for the day. <gasps> <laughs> Is he not a breather for the whole day? Mustn't be. I think Jeremy fragrance you just is just different. Get your breathing done yeah. nice and early and then you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. That's how his dad died. <laughs> <laughs> That's how his dad died in the first in the first video. It's just to get his breathing done nice and early. Oh god. Of ginger as well as a the second one is a green tea guarana mix. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously I'm not like a Navy SEAL punishing myself like super hard what? and but at the same time I, I do the discipline thing and at the same time I enjoy every day at the same time <laughs> how do you enjoy every day at the same time <laughs> he's a time traveling monk <laughs> that's what he is Wow, he's mad for the wife fronts, isn't he? <laughs> yes, he's isn't like, it? let's get all of the <laughs> let's get all of the shots of me and wife fronts first. <laughs> Why is he going for a run on the beach in his jocks, in his bare feet? <laughs> he looks like <laughs> he looks. Someone robbed his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh, I'm gonna have a fucking aneurysm. So he says, "This." Uh, Hang on, I'm stretching. It, 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 <laughs> it says here he's running into forty degrees Fahrenheit water at four thirty a.m. What's forty degrees Fahrenheit? I'll Google. <sighs> Uh, I would say it's 11 degrees water Celsius. Four. Four? Mm. Oh, shit. What the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs> How far away is the water? <laughs> it's eight miles to the water. What if you get up and you don't feel like doing it? I still do it. Go on, Jeremy. Fucking go on. That's it, lift the fucking chairs, Jeremy. He's still running to the water. It's like, he gets there at 2 p.m. <laughs> He's crossing roads and everything to get to this water. It's like, is he in the, is, is the water in the same state? Is he in a landlocked state? It's like, I need to go to the next <laughs> state. To get to water. That's why I'm running at half four. I get there at six p.m. Doesn't go well. That's pretty inspiring. Where do you start? You know, if if you've never had a morning routine, where should you start? Breathing with yourself. That you want to improve yourself every day. So even if you're in a terrible shape, you're already better than you've been yesterday. If you just don't eat this type of um, pizza, you are your own. So change your flavor of pizza. He said, don't eat this type of pizza. So if you went for, if you got like a... Meat got, feast is your usual. Feast, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Just, then, I, then I would say then you go for tuna and sweet corn. On pizza? Tuna and sweet corn on pizza? Yeah. I've never had that. Are you serious? Mm. You've never had I, tuna? Do you like tuna? I do like tuna. Do you like sweet corn? Yeah, I do. Do you like pizza? Yes, I do. There's, then there's nothing about it you wouldn't like. I've never seen that on a menu. No, but you... They have those things in the pizza place. You just say, can I have tuna and sweet corn, please? You don't, like, they don't have a name for it, like chew corn. <laughs> or swooka. Own enemy. <laughs> yeah, that's the, you are your own competition. So that's where you start. Even if you're in a terrible shape, you eat one pizza daily. That's your daily routine. <laughs> Why is he talking about this now? <laughs> you had, eat french fries every day. So you could say, all right, you know what? Now I only eat... 
beef and vegetables every time I go in the restaurant. So you automatically skip the French fries. So that's already better than you've been yesterday. How about stop going to restaurants and actually cook your own fucking dinner? Also, he was asked about his morning routine. Why is he talking yeah. about pizza and yeah. beef dinners? How is it hard to start? And he's like, stop <laughs> stop eating all the pizzas. Like, we don't eat pizzas. But just, this is the only advice I know. You can still show warm. You can still watch TV every day. But at least you're a little bit better than yesterday. And that's how you start. And... People should not do radical stuff because this... Like running into the water at 4.30 in the morning in a pair of fucking white fronts that you also use to meditate, do yoga in and lift all of your garden furniture repeatedly and do sit-ups with a backpack you were also wearing when you were doing press-ups. And also don't squat when you shave, you fucking moron. This traumatizes you and you said, no, I'm not doing this anymore, man. You want to get fitter, slow and steady. Yeah. Slow and steady. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you. Do it with time, yeah. Well... Thank you very much. Sure, man. Kill the guys. What? <laughs> what did he say? I don't know. Kill the guys. Hang on. Thank you very much. Sure, man. Kill the guys. Hang on. Slow and steady. Yeah. Slow and steady. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you. Do it with time, yeah. Well, thank you very much. Sure, man. Kill the guys. Can you please put that on a hockey? Please, we have to have that as a little drop. I don't know what the fuck he said. Did he say cool guys? Yeah, yeah, Play it again. Sure, man. Kill the guys. <laughs> he sounded like he was going to start crying. <laughs> no, do you know what it sounds like? It sounds like the frog in his throat. You know that little like... Go on, like dogs. Broke through a word. <laughs> He's just like, oh, fuck, I have to go with it now. Oh, I love him. I love him. I love him so much. Also, He's can my we, favourite. Can we just talk about how he clearly got somebody to record it? He hired him. <laughs> he hired him. And then he was like, you're very welcome for the... <laughs> when when will this be going out on my YouTube page? <laughs> I love it. I love when people pretend like that somebody thought they were important enough that they need to ask them. <laughs> where clearly he just hired a, his buddy to... to oh, brilliant. I think you need to read through some of the, the um, YouTube comments under that video. Yeah? Okay. Jeremy has two modes. Full clothing, no underwear. No clothing, only underwear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about this, by the way. I'm a warm hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy is the only one who can say something like that and I'll just accept it. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you can't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Look out the window and see him running around. <laughs> Interviewer, what if you get up and don't feel like doing it? Jeremy, in 80s action movie fashion, I still do it. <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you've been listening to Unforeseen. Uh, you can follow us at all of our socials at Unforeseen Pod, or you can send us an email, unforeseenpodcast at gmail.com. Nope. <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> no. Nah. No. Not it. Unforeseen pod at gmail.com. That's what I said. No, you did. What did I say? Unforeseen podcast. Ah, that's wrong. It's unforeseen wrong. pod at yeah. gmail.com. Yeah. Thanks for clarifying that, actually. Thank Jeez. you to our sponsors, uh, the fantastic Sea Church in Ballycotton. And uh, if you want to leave us any, you know, comments or anything or suggestions for stuff, hit us up on the email or leave comments underneath the uh, the videos. We, we we do check them all. I don't, uh, I try and stay, if, if, I've, if ever I see the words, Hey, Lorraine, or hey, you should get... I always go, oh, I'm not watching, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, because I don't even want to know what the suggestions are uh, for fear that I might know what it already is. And uh, that's about it. Uh, thanks, everybody, for being so sound. And uh, we shall see you again next week. Put it up, press the button. Boom. Oh, look at you. Shakalaka. Oh, yeah. Oh, everybody. Awesome. I'm so I'm proud gonna, of I you. I'm going to go do some squats and have a shave. <laughs> Try and get bucks, give me a wedgie, stick three holes in my dad's balls and go for a run and see. Bye.